if there is nothing illegal there, I just simply hope that after they do their digging and they do their research and they do their investigation, they come out promptly and say there's nothing going on here outside of what is legally acceptable and we are done. Because to me, simply having an open investigation to somebody with a position of that size, with the potential to exercise options, is market manipulation in itself. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a post market update video here. I may be putting out two videos tonight. I still want to stick with the market tonight, the overall market recap video, giving you guys all the information with several different plays and recaps so you guys know everything going into close. But that being said, we did get a pretty significant update today that I do think is worth covering. One Roaring Kitties YouTube channel, the Roaring Kitty channel that really kicked things off three years ago is back tomorrow with potentially a live stream at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is going to be very very interesting. There's over 15,000 people currently right now watching his YouTube live stream and it is not even started yet. Personally speaking, guys, for tomorrow on the live stream, I will be live streaming on my channel, watching Roaring Kitty's channel probably be live at around 11 to 11 30 so we should be live roughly an hour to half an hour before this live stream is supposed to kick off and we'll just watch and see what happens i do expect there to be a lot going on with the overall stock gamestop i'm sure several other means will be running as well gamestop amc i'm sure koss blackberry you name it they will probably be having some very volatile actions and tomorrow will be friday weekly close end of the day zero dte on the on the on the on the freaking market minds of every single retail investor out there looking to gamble a little bit and have some fun on a Friday. But that being said, before we get into this video, guys, I do want to say, make sure you guys can afford to risk anything you guys do jump into from an options perspective, specifically going into Friday, because there's only one day to expiration for anybody looking for a very, you know, a high risk, high reward, but low entry fee. Yes, it can be fun tomorrow, but please make sure if you're doing anything tomorrow in regards to this market, in regards to this very hype-like run, you are remaining safe. You are remaining calm. You are making informed decisions. You're not letting your emotions get the best of you, and you are managing your account accordingly. For people that are in the Discord, for people who are in our training community, I told them, if you did have yourself a day of the week, a best day of the month, of the year, please make sure you withdraw any money you made today before tomorrow. In our training community, we did have uh, 14 people, uh, sorry, we had six people made over 6K today, made over six figures today. 14 people made over five figures today that I am personally aware of. I do think there are more because as I did check uh, in our gains channel just at close, I saw that somebody in our Discord also posted that they made, I think, $11,000 here, and they weren't part of the tally. Uh, Sam, I am. Congratulations on making over $11,000 today, up over 118%. Yeah, we had ourselves, and, and Lisa, 165% of GameStop calls. Wonderful. We had ourselves, you know, a, a record day for our trading community, um, not just simply because of the fact that GameStop ran, because GameStop was only up, you know, 40 percent we've, we've seen other stocks up significant amounts um in around the same time period as well on oh, my videos freezing okay hopefully this video is working a little bit better now and the freezing has stopped um but that being said guys very important that you guys do make sure you withdraw your money and remain very safe going into tomorrow especially if you had yourself a game changing like day like we had so different people in our training community and i will be sending back a lot of dms to you guys out there who sent me dms with your wins reminding you guys to be safe as we go into close tomorrow if anybody out there look is looking for more information on training guys which means you want the live call outs the watch lists the educational videos all that jazz guys link in the description below Low. I cannot say it enough. This is the ultimate market to have a wonderful training community, giving insights, knowledge, different perspectives, and not giving you guys what you want to hear, but giving the technical analysis and the breakout without bias that's required to be successful in this market. Link in the description below, guys. There is a 21-day trial, which will end 
tomorrow after the market close. So if you guys would like to jump in there, guys, now would be the time. After tomorrow, the market close, the 21 day trial will be cut down to seven and the prices will be changing going into the back half of the month, okay? So without any further ado, guys, I did wanna cover one, a technical breakdown where GameStop is right now. I will do an update for the later on video tonight because we do have ourselves the 24 hour market that should be monitored. But I really wanna speak about the overall probe going on in Massachusetts right now with the one and only Roaring Kitty, okay? So if you haven't yet, guys, smash the like button, engage the video. Let's take a look at GameStop right here, and then let's get into the, the interview, really breaking down what's happening with that pro. GameStop had an absolutely amazing day today and is really giving us that inverse H that we are looking for uh, going into the end of the week. Now, personally speaking, guys, I was only looking for a daily candle close over that $35 range. Now, going into tomorrow, I think it's very important that we keep this part in mind. I will be looking for something along the lines of a pullback down towards that $37 to $38 range before ultimately looking for higher highs here. This is the only technical breakdown that I'll be looking for in order to get back into calls for GameStop. If we wake up tomorrow morning and GameStop gaps up 20, 30, 40, 50% there, I will remain with my runner, with my running options, which means I have a few options that I did not close today. The options that I personally had today were up over 250% by the time I was end up trimming them and, and really cutting back down, I picked up some shares. I have a few different runners here, but I am really significantly sized down going into the end of the week here. My options were for June 21st and June 21st only. Um, now, second thing is here, if we do see a significant gap up, I will be waiting. I will not be adding anything more to my position there. I will simply let the runners run. This to me would be a technical breakdown for a potential entry here. We did see a significant gap up and this was all the way back Back on May 14th, where we opened up at 64 bucks. Then we saw this thing come all the way back down towards 35 bucks, in which it then bounced back up from the day low to close and close up 35% from the lows. That is exactly, well, roughly exactly where we close the day today. So this little pullback here would be the potential best entry in my personal opinion to go along with GameStop. I think that's very important because it is not chasing, it is not emotional. The implied volatility would definitely cool down. The overall value of those call options would decrease significantly. The overall fear would come into the market. And then you'd probably see more of the technical traders, more of the value traders, more of those who are actually paying attention to things outside of simply um, the overall emotion of the hype, but actually watching the Greeks with these with these options, figuring out is this the best time to buy? That's where I want to be getting in. Okay. Now, that being said, actually, you know, before we get into this breakdown here, I want to take a quick little look at Bitcoin here, guys. I want to see Bitcoin hold above roughly the sixty-nine thousand dollar level here. It's it's remaining on top of this flag here, which is beautiful. It's basing. I think it looks very strong here. An inside daily candle closed three more hours ago, and I think we could see a beautiful outside move here, almost like a another flag pattern here. But if we do see Bitcoin, but for any means tomorrow, break back down below seventy thousand, please keep your eyes peeled with the Bitcoin mining stocks. They could have a significant pullback. All right, all right, guys, let's. Let's get into this video here. Uh, Keith, Gill is, uh, Keith Gill, the investor known as Roaring Kitty, re-emerging on the social media scene and setting off a frenzy around GameStop. Some regulators now taking notice. And now Massachusetts' top securities regulator has opened an investigation of Gill's activities. Joining us to talk about what could be next, Lisa uh, Bragazal. She is the former branch chief in the enforcement division of the Chicago. By the way, we have had Lisa on this channel before, and I will definitely invite Lisa back for another interview. Um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully she comes back. Chicago SEC, good morning to you. We're all trying to understand what an investigation uh, in this case could look like uh, and what kind of jeopardy he is in. So this is definitely a, a an investigation into whether he is moving the market. So uh, it's a market manipulation. The Massachusetts securities regulators will be looking to see, is he potentially coordinating with other people? Is he engaged in, you know, any kind of illegal conduct? They'll look at his internal, you know, his communications with other people, his text, his emails, his uh, what other communications he's had maybe on other subreddits um have have there been direct messages on on twitter so uh, but they're they're concerned that that this is an effort to manipulate the market and for him to make money 
for himself through right. what through illegal disclosures. I so what she's saying is just simply highlighting what they're looking for and why they're looking for it. In my personal opinion, guys, if there is nothing illegal there, I just simply hope that after they do their digging and they do their research and they do their investigation, they come out promptly and say there's nothing going on here outside of what is legally acceptable and we are done. Because to me, simply having an open investigation to somebody with a position of that size, with the potential to exercise options, is market manipulation in itself. I hope you guys can see that, right? So well, that's so, so really so the let's, qu- Right, let's just back up. Let's, let's say, let's assume for now that he has friends and that he texts with them and maybe emails with them and messages. Yo, shout out to Lisa Braganza with the Apes Together Strong poster in the background for this interview. I didn't even see that. You can see you can see in the background. Oh, gee. Anyways. Is them on Reddit and other places and says, hey, guys, I'm thinking uh, that I'm I'm really getting more bullish on GameStop. I think there's an opportunity. I'm, you know, I'm thinking of posting something kind of funny. I don't know what you guys think if this is funny or not, but I'm going to post this, you know, tomorrow at noon. Let's say he 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 did that. And let's say the responses from his friends were, hey, that's a great idea. By the way, I'm going to try to load up on this stuff, too. Maybe is that an agreement? Now they're a team, but I don't think they're a team over 5%, which, which historically would be a threshold. Where, where, does, where is the line for this? It's not, he's not an insider. That's right. He's not an insider, but if there is a group of investors or people who are secretly, and that's really the big question here, is it secretly coming to an agreement about um, purchases and sales of the stock in order to make money, or is it out in the open? The big difference was back in February of 2021, everything was out in the open. The, The whole system that we have is based on disclosure. So if you're disclosing stuff you don't have to disclose, that's great. Right. The, but there Lisa, shouldn't be a regulatory problem. One of the things, though, that I know people who are watching this, and we talked about this actually in yesterday's broadcast, are saying to themselves is, Lisa, this happens every day. Every day there are uh, millionaires and billionaires on Wall Street who are talking to each other by telephone, by Bloomberg message, by text, uh, about different positions that they're thinking about making, making. That this, is, this is not only no different, this is the, the little guy I hate to even call him the little guy, but this is this is the consumer uh, playing uh, playing the Wall Street game. And and that is definitely something that this retail revolution, this this uprising of uh, the self-called apes um, is about that. They are trying to get into the markets. They're trying to do things that, you know, have been done for years by insiders. The problem is that, you know, if, if a bunch of millionaires are talking to each other about loading up on some stock before somebody takes an action, that's insider trading or, you know, they could be a manipulation. Uh, so it, the, the apes and people who right. are bullish on GameStop have to stay clear of what is illegal conduct that often is hard to prosecute because it's hard to get the evidence. So what she's saying is fact. What she's saying is not, you know, um, hearsay. But the, the, the main line that I can see being drawn here is, did he communicate with other people that what he was going to do? I cannot imagine that he did. I cannot imagine that he went to other millionaire friends of his and said, hey, guys, look, this is what I'm going to go do. I'm going to start posting about this in a little day. Get your positions ready. I cannot imagine that those were the steps he took. I do think that we've seen all of the transparent communication publicly. I don't think there was any private conversation. And as long as there wasn't any private conversation, things look like it should be okay. So we're going to kind of leave things there for now, guys. Um, as you guys can see right now, GameStop is currently up already 28 to 3% here in the after hours. AMC is also up 4.4% right now. So we will come back here for a later video later on tonight. Really giving you guys a recap. AMC is now up 5% in the after hours. Really giving you guys a recap and update where things are in the 24-hour market. But things look 
very interesting as they were okay guys be safe uh make sure you guys are being very careful i'll post a video later on tonight with more setups and a much more i guess detailed breakdown with several different setups going to the back half of the week going into next week as well uh but as of this moment guys enjoy your evening because tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane much love deuces